Um, we're doing spring essentials, spring and summer essentials. I'm titling this spring and summer because those two seasons definitely uh, exist within each other in my closet. You know what I mean? I wear my spring pieces in the summer, I wear my summer pieces in the spring. So I'm combining them. I may have another one of these in the summer if things change and I find some other pieces that are like key pieces in my wardrobe for then. But as for now, these are like my key pieces in my closet that I've been wearing a lot in the springtime and then I'm going to continue to in the summertime. Something in every category for the most part, jewelry, shoes, bags, um, clothes, obviously. And so we're just gonna kind of go through and show you my favorite pieces. And I also have a few newbies that I wanted to integrate into this video, just kind of spice up an essentials video for me. Um, so first we're gonna talk about jackets because spring is like my favorite season for outerwear next to fall, they're tied with that. But um, it's because I get to wear my trench coats. And so I had to, of course, include one in here. I won't show you all of them, but this is my current favorite one. And it's actually my first ever I want, I think it's my first ever non-thrifted trench coat. I'm not sure though. Either way, it's my like nicest trench coat that I've owned and it's from Coach. However, I do really, really love my thrifted ones still. Um, and I wear, I get good use out of my trench coats cause I wear them like every day and I switch within them through the week. But again, I just really like this Coach one right now. And I like like the two tones on it and it's just like really fun. I like that it's short. A lot of them, I normally pick longer ones from the thrift store. Anyway, my favorite way right now to style trench coats are actually, or any coat for that matter is with like short or a short skirt or something. It's like my, I feel like I haven't really done that before this year and being able to just like play around with my short skirts, it makes it easier, especially with my longer trench coats to play around with like my shorter skirts because um, it's still warmer. You know what I mean? When it's not so warm outside, it like keeps my legs a little bit warmer because they go longer, you know? I just feel like it's been a fun way to play around with those. So anyway, um, really love my trench coats. Wanted to shout them out, but I'll grab my favorite thrifted one too. Um, it has this like, you know, faux Burberry lining inside and it doesn't say the brand, but um, I really love this coat so much. I love the flap on the back as well. And this has been my go-to one besides the first one that I showed you. Also within the jacket section, you guys know I love uh, my quilted coats, but I'm going to skip over that. If you wanna hear about those, I mentioned them, I believe in my last essentials video, which was winter. And I don't wanna to be too repetitive, but just know that I still love my quilted coats, especially in the spring as well. Um, but I just feel like I showed them way too much. Next up are blazers, which I had to include. Um, and I just love a good blazer in the spring. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm gonna to try to like play around with them in the summertime too just because I'm like, you know what? I just really, really love the look of a blazer with a skirt. I'm very excited to continue wearing them. I've been wearing them constantly lately. And um, these are just like a few of my favorite ones. This one's from Modern Citizen. And being as someone who thrifts almost all of my blazers always, um, it's kind of crazy to have a brand new blazer that feels so nice and structured and has like a modern detail to it. Like this one kind of has like a fun boxy shape, but also you can tie in the waist. And so again, like a little modern flair on it. So I love that one, but I also really love, of course, my thrifted ones. I really am into a pinstripe one right now. This is the one I thrifted recently with you guys. It has the um, pink pinstriping and I love wearing this with t-shirts. That's kind of my favorite way to style blazers in general or with like graphic t-shirts. I love the look of a graphic tee under a blazer. I think it makes the blazer so much more casual in such an easy way. And so the next on my list naturally are graphic tees. And this is a newer one I showed you guys in a vlog, I think. This is by the brand At The Moment. And I just liked that it had sweet potatoes on it. And I liked the color scheme and everything. I thought it was different for a graphic tee. And this is a new edition that I have not even worn yet. I bought this on Essence, but it's a Ghani t-shirt, you guys know. I, in my last wishes video, I think, I was mentioning how I wanted a pink Ghani t-shirt. And I just really liked the little butterfly. I thought it was simple and cute. It still says Ghani on it um, that you can barely see. Can you even see that? See that? Very lightweight. And again, this with like a pinstripe blazer, skirt, sneakers, great spring look in my opinion. I'm butting in here really quick to give a little soft mention to something that I've really been loving lately. And I feel like this is like the video to include them in, but it's a specific kind of tank top and I'm wearing it right now. And it made me think about it while I was getting dressed today because I almost didn't realize that this was clean. And every time I go to get dressed and I can't find it or it's in the dirty laundry or whatever, I get so bummed. And so I was like, you know what? I think that earns it a spot in this video. And it's from Cezanne. It's their square neck tank top. They are definitely an investment for a tank top, but the quality is really great as with all things Cezanne. I don't know. I just love them. I have it in black and then I have one in white and I would love to add other colors. I don't know if they have other colors, but anyway, um, I wear them constantly. I love them. I love the square neckline. I feel like it's different. The, like I mentioned, the quality is great. And I just love the shape of it. I just feel like it's perfect. Let me move this. Hold on. I'm my bra. Oh, also speaking of bras, 
Thank you so much to Parade for sponsoring. I am actually wearing, obviously, their bra because that's what I normally wear. But I have a few new in pieces from Parade um, for underwear-wise. Their latest launches and stuff, so I thought it would be fun to show you guys really quickly. This stuff is a little bralette. I was so excited about this, you guys, when I saw it on there. I just think it's so fun and so up my alley. Obviously into anything striped, but the red and white striped, I thought it was so fun, and I feel like it could be fun to wear under a button-up and kind of have it peek out. I don't know why. We also have this set. Please look at this color. I love this color of green, but I also really love the contrast stitching very into that in general right now but um this is one of their bralettes which you guys know i love their bralettes and here's a matching pair of underwear like i said the contrast stitching is just so cute to me and these are like really really stretchy one of the reasons i love parade so much is that all of their pieces come in such fun pretty colors and patterns and things like that and it makes it really exciting to buy underwear i feel like i got so excited about that that i totally neglected like my neutrals so i ended up grabbing a white set too which i'm very excited about because it's like this very lightweight ribbed material and it's just so nice and again will be really nice for summer. I also really like this design of underwear where the hips are kind of like thinner. I think it adds like a fun little element to it. Then I also grabbed just the regular high-waisted, same material of the ribbed and super soft. And then of course the matching bralette in the same material. And this one is actually double lined, which I feel like is really nice. Because it is white, I feel like it won't be see-through. I'm just really excited. I've never tried this cut specifically from Parade and I think it looks really pretty. And then I also have one of their like underwire bras on right now. I love them so much. It's super stretchy and again, really lightweight and nice for spring and summer. And if you wanna try Parade, I actually have a code. It's Jordy 40 which will get you 40% off the entire site. I will put my link down below. Otherwise you can go to the link yourparade.com slash jordy40 and yeah thank you so much to parade for sponsor and on to the next essential of course i have to talk about vests i love vests in the spring and the summertime and these are just like some of my all-time favorite i think they add so much personality to an outfit and in like such an easy way this one i seem to gravitate towards a lot it's from donnie it's their um polar fleece vest i believe I just love like the cream and the green lining there uh, and the buttons and just the shape of it. I really like this. It's definitely all seasons except summer more so. I feel like because of the fleece, I mean, I haven't tried it. Of course, I have to mention my quilt vests, which I feel like were in some sort of essentials video at some point. And you guys have seen these, but I love them so much still. And I get so much wear out of them. This is my Cezanne vest. It's reversible, actually. So this is like my favorite uh, side of it and then inside it's this like khaki green color which is also very pretty and I have to try to style that because I feel like I always forget about that. I think it's gorgeous and it's Cezanne and I love the shape of it. I feel like it's a little bit different than some vests I see. Next is this Etsy vest which we all know and love. Also reversible. Well, I don't know if it's actually reversible. No, but it's like obviously very beautiful and handmade and gorgeous. And I think they still sell them. If they do, I'll put the link down below from that seller. And then lastly, I'm going to show you a knit vest. Kind of, it's like a sleeveless like sweater. And I've been really liking it lately. This is from the brand Callahan. And I just have to show you all of the different colors in it. I just think this is so beautiful. Yeah, Callahan Knitwear. And it's so lightweight and nice and beautiful. And I have been styling it over things all spring. And I really like it with a collar. I think this is so cute and so fun. And it's so easy to style because there are so many different colors in it. I'm gonna call this section striped tops. <laughs> I do have a thing for stripes on shirts, and that is this next section because um, I was just going to originally have it be like my button downs, but then I was like, you know what? I've really been liking this t-shirt, so I'm gonna add it in. Um, so my favorite tops for the spring and summer are of course my button downs. No matter the weather, I feel like I can dress this um, to be appropriate for the weather. And I just love these two. I haven't even taken the tag off this. I need to wear this. I recently bought this in my Target video and haven't worn it yet, but um, this is my cotton one that I showed you guys recently that I love so much. And again, this is one from Target from A New Day and I really love uh, both of those ones. And then the third top is from H&M and I just really, really, really like this piece. I don't know. It's such a simple, like, staple piece in my opinion, but the stripes, the fit of it, it's just, they did really well with it. I don't know. I really liked layering this under things in the wintertime, like sweaters and stuff, and having, like, the stripes peek out. And now I'm kind of thinking about styling it with, like, shorts and a blazer, or just, like, shorts in general. I think this will be a great piece about the rest of spring and maybe the beginning of summer, so uh, we'll see. But stripes galore, we love. I've come to the conclusion that, like, for me, having, like, good dresses are so essential because some days I I just like I want to look cute like the tail is old as time with dresses the easiest way to look cute you know what I mean it's one outfit you don't have to think about it you think about accessories and I just recently I feel like within the past few years of my life understood how crucial it is to have a few good dresses and this is one that I'm really excited to wear this spring and summer it's by Kowtow this was like a pre-season purchase like I bought this in like the beginning or middle of winter and I just saw it and it was on sale and I'm like I know that I'm going to get so much wear out of this and so I chose to grab it and it's so beautiful it has the cute little 
uh, collar on it and then it's this eyelet lace and I just love the shape of it It's very simple, but still has like personality to it, which I love those kinds of pieces It has dog hair all over it. So even more personality dresses of all shapes sizes anything are so good to me for spring and summer and are such an essential and so um, I just wanted to show you like a newer one because I feel like I talk about like my staple dresses all the time And so this is like switching it up a little I do have a quick pant mention and these I don't know I was tempted to not put them in here. These pants have just been really good to me and so I feel like they've earned a spot in an in essentials video and I don't know if I've put them in one before. Maybe I have um, but they're this like trouser pant from Princess Polly. I don't have a ton of things from Princess Polly but the things that I have grabbed in the past have really served me really well and this is one of those purchases that was kind of like random I was just like yeah I'm gonna try them and they've kind of like taken over the spot as like my favorite trouser pants and I've gone through a few like the Jerf Avenue ones H&M ones Abercrombie trousers uh, thrifted ones I've tried so many thrifted ones that just I haven't found the right ones yet and these have kind of changed it for me because they're just like they're not like a thick trouser pant they're actually kind of stretchy which I really like, they're lightweight, um, but I've had these for about a year and I wear them constantly. They're still in great condition and they're just like this pinstripe look. I don't know if they still sell them, but I will look. Um, anyway, really like these. Next is like a staple skirt and I think having like a light colored, creamy, ivory, white, whatever skirt that's mini or like, you know, shorter is so good. This is the one that I found last year. I found it on Poshmark or something. It's from like Target originally and I still love that one, but this is a newer edition as well and I just wanted one that had like cargo pockets or like some sort of pockets and so I went on Banana Republic and I really liked the pockets and so I picked it up. I think they were having a sale. This was on their clearance actually. Although I did get it on sale, I was thinking afterwards, as for like J Crew, Banana Republic, Gap, specifically Banana Republic and J Crew, I feel like they've been making their staple styles for so long. Like I feel like I could find this one on Poshmark or eBay or something and um, it would be the exact same. So I didn't think about that before I was on their site. It was a late night scroll kind of thing, but um, I'm really excited about this nonetheless. I think it's super cute. Obviously as it gets warmer, it gets sunnier and you need sun protection rights. I don't know if you've seen my new hat yet, but I'm very excited about it. It might not look like much like this, but watch as I transform it. <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited about this hat. It's from Lorna Murray. I've been wanting to invest in one of her hats for so long. And I finally broke down and did it and I'm so glad. I think it's so freaking cute and precious and perfect. And it's just so special. I love having a good hat for spring and summer. This was my one that I've had for the past few years that I really love. I thrifted it, I believe, randomly. Strawy kind of hat. And I really, really love this one too. Let me put them on for you actually. She is on, she moves around. I, and I love that it folds up and I can put it in my bag. So as soon as I need it or want it, it's there. Um, whereas like you can technically do that with this, but it doesn't keep it shaped. This keeps it shaped necklace ASM. I have all of my favorite necklaces here and these are what I always I mean all throughout the year I love them but especially like around now is when I start really getting into my beaded necklaces and my pearls and just like my fun necklaces that make my outfits feel more exciting to me at least I just wanted to shout out my favorite ones kind of start off with this one I love how big it is. I found this randomly on Amazon and I was like, it's, I don't know, it said the measurements and I was like, that sounds big. And then I got it and it was big and I was like, okay, perfect. Because like the size of it around my neck and I just think it's the most like fun accessory to accessorize an outfit with. And then this was also a little Amazon find, just like a pink one. I thought this was cute. Like it's like a bright pink and it's kind of shorter, um, but it was really inexpensive. I tend to find my all time favorite ones at antique stores and these are all of them. Um, I love this purple one specifically because it's not too out there. I don't know if you can tell the color of it even. It's like this really, really light lilac. I like spicing up an outfit, but it's like not too loud of a color that it's kind of like low key. And I of course love my two classic ones. I think those are super pretty. And then this blue one was also an antique store find and I just think it's really a fun color. And also in like 2020, I made a ton of necklaces. And then last year I wasn't super into like the colorful beaded ones. Um, and then this year I just refound them and I was like, oh my God, I love them again. And so I've been wearing this a ton. I think I just bought the beads from um, Michaels to be honest, but it's just like this cute little 
and um, assortment of beads. And I think it's fun and adds some fun. I like pairing it with gold necklaces as well. I feel like within the past few years, they've really become an essential in my spring summer like outfits. And again, just make it feel like more fun. Sometimes more beachy when it's pearly, you know, that kind of vibe. Okay, my camera died. So this is a different day, which is why I look different. A pretty important mention to me is a long maxi skirt, midi skirt, and having like a couple, I feel like my go-tos. This has been my one recently that I really, really love. And I think that's because it has something like special that makes it really pretty. You can see the embroidery flowers on it. I just think it's so freaking pretty. This is by Lisa Says Ga. I love it. I also love the shape of it. I feel like it's different than the other white longer skirts that I have. Just in general, I really love all of my white longer skirts like this. And um, I just so happen to pick this one as a favorite currently. But I mean, we also have bags and shoes. So I'm going to start with bags. I've recently realized my the bag that I tend to use does seem to have something to do with the season. Specifically like these ones, I've been like gravitating towards for spring. This one you guys have been seeing a lot lately. I thrifted this years and years ago and I wear it constantly. I love the brown. It was in great condition. This is vintage Gap, by the way, in case you're looking for this because I just found the tag on it the other day and I was like, you know what? Let me shout that out. Vintage Gap. It's so cute. I love it. It goes with everything and I love the texture on it. I think that's what makes it so different for me is the texture. Also, it's big and it just like, just like sits on my arm nicely. You know, I feel like when you find a good shoulder bag like this, it's hard for me to like want to grab other shoulder bags because this one's just so perfect and like, like almost every way. I really like tote bags and I have a few of them that I really love, but these are just like some good ones, some really good ones. This one's a my little boat tote that I got last summer that I'm really excited to continue to use this summer. It says giddy up on it. You can customize it to say whatever you want. I picked the long strap and I believe this is the medium size. And I honestly feel like this is the perfect size. I definitely love the long strap. I like the pop of red too. It seems to go with a lot. And uh, lastly, do you guys remember when I thrifted this? I just found this in my summer bin that I was unpacking into my office and I was like, Wait, I don't think I've ever used this, but I'm so excited. I love it now even more than I loved it when I found it. And I feel like obviously I got it, so I liked it enough. When I saw it, I was like, this is literally perfect because I am so into the big, large sequins right now. I don't know why I like second guess myself. I, I feel like I remember in that thrift with me being like, I don't know, blah, 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 but I love it. Okay, next we have shoes, and I picked three of my top favorites that I've been really loving lately and that I just in general love for spring. And you guys, of course, I have to start with these. I love these. These are from Circus by Sam Edelman, and they're just so cute and perfect. I think I got a size up. Yeah, I sized up in these. I'm constantly reaching for them. I just think they're the perfect ballet flat. I love the shape of them. I sized up, and um, I think they fit really nicely. They're very comfortable, and they're just so cute. And again, I really love this color. I feel like it adds the perfect pop of color to every outfit, and it's just, like, fun. Next are some loafers, which... I have really been obsessed with these loafers lately. I've been wearing them constantly and I just, I, I don't know. I, I've always liked loafers on other people and I've had loafers before and I've worn them, but I feel like I've never worn them as much as I've been wearing them lately. And so these are by Doc Martin. I just really loved the design on them with the tassels up there and then the little horse bit thing there. And I just think they're great. They're very comfortable too. There wasn't like really a breaking in period for these, which I have obviously had with other Doc Martens. So really like these, love wearing them, especially with dresses right now and skirts. Anyway, those are my spring summer essentials, just kind of my favorites and then some new in pieces as well that I'm really excited to incorporate into my outfits this uh, year. And yeah, like I said, I'll probably have another one in the summertime when I find out more of like what I'm super into this year. Um, but I mean, my essentials normally stay like the same, but I feel like the pieces within that, those categories sometimes change. So we'll just see, I guess. But thank you so much for being here and for watching. And let me know what your essentials are down below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.